force on the earth in the downward direction that is in the downward direction that force applied is also called its weight its weight so the weight it is equal to the mass into acceleration due to gravity in the first chapter uh, we discuss something about this acceleration due to gravity acceleration it is the acceleration produced in any object when it is attracted towards the earth that is acceleration due to gravity so the product of mass and mass and the acceleration due to gravity is equal to weight so due to this weight it apply force in the downward direction so the weight is also the force so the weight is acting vertically downward right the object has weight m into g m into g that is represented by w and due to this weight this object exerts force on the ground right but from the newton second law whenever the force is applied by anything on the surface or on any other object definitely what will be produced the acceleration must be produced but here we are saying the object is placed on the surface and it is at rest it is at rest but due to its weight the object is applying force on the ground so the object must go down it must go down into the earth but it is not not going down if we want to explain more easily suppose here this is an object if i am applying force from this direction that is f1 from this direction and this force is able to it can it can move this object it can move this object but due to this force it is not able to move so what does it mean it means this force applied from this direction is opposed by some other force so f2 is also applied in the opposite direction so f1 and f2 they are opposing each other the for effect of force f1 on this object is opposed by f2 that's why the the object is not moving in any direction so we can say f1 is equal to f2 f1 is equal to f2 so f1 is opposed by f2 the same concept can be used here also same concept can be used in this also here due to the weight the object is exerting force on the surface due to this weight the object must move downward but it is not moving it means it is getting some opposite force from the ground also that opposite force should definitely be act along the same line in the opposite direction and that force given by the ground on the body on the mass is definitely perpendicular to the surface and that perpendicular force for the surface it is perpendicular so that force applied by the ground on the body is known as is known as normal reaction is known as normal reaction or simply we can say it is reaction force it is reaction force because of this weight and the normal reaction equal and opposite they are equal and opposite weight is acting vertically downward and normal reaction that is reaction is acting vertically upward so both the forces are equal and opposite they are balancing each other they are balancing each other in this two forces weight is one force normal reaction is also another force so in these two forces one can be called as action another is reaction if it is called as action this will be reaction this will be reaction if we call this as action and this will be reaction anything may be called as action and a reaction so here action and a reaction are equal and opposite action and a reaction are equal and opposite so the newton's third law of motion 
on this action and under this reaction. Now, one more thing also. As soon as the action, action is acting, immediately at the same moment, the reaction also comes. Reaction also comes. Both occur simultaneously at the same time. There will be no time difference. The action is at action is acting. That is the weight of object is acting at one moment. It is not like that after one second, after two seconds, the reaction is given by the ground. No. Both are acting at the same time. Both occurs simultaneously. But one more thing also. This weight is given by weight is the force given by the object on the ground. So this weight is coming from the object. And this reaction, normal reaction, it is coming from the ground. It is coming from the ground. Weight is coming from the object. Reaction is coming from the ground. Therefore, action and reaction pairs. They are coming from different objects. This action and the reaction and the reaction, they are coming from different objects. So the action and reaction coming from different objects do not cancel each other. They are just only balancing each other. Both are having the effects. But their effects are balanced. Effects are balanced. So this is how the Newton's third law of motion is explained. And this Newton's third law is applied everywhere. Everywhere. So everywhere means even if I take a person is standing on a ground. A person is standing on a ground. And this person is having weight. The weight of person is acting vertically downward. If the person is at rest, then definitely the person is getting normal reaction. So in this also, the weight and the normal reaction are equal and opposite. They are equal and opposite. Here also Newton's third law of motion. Right? Okay. And this Newton's third law of motion, it has so many examples. There are so many examples. And one more exa one example we can give that the motion of a rocket. Suppose the rocket is lifted up from the space station, right? And the rocket is moving upward. It is moving upward. Suppose this is the this is the rough structure of the rocket. So the rocket is moving upward by the burning of fuel inside the rocket. When the fuel is burnt inside the rocket, it produces a lot of gases. Lot of gases. Right? Here what happens? As the rocket is moving upward. When the rocket is moving upward, why it is moving upward? Because the gases which are produced exerting force on the rocket. The force applied by the gases on the rocket with which it moves upwards. And then the rocket also exerts force on the gases with that the gases are moving in the backward direction. So here also we have action and reaction. One may be taken as action, another one is reaction. The force applied by gases on the rocket, the gas rocket moves upward. And the force applied by rocket on the gas, the gases are moving downward. They are moving backward. With respect to rocket, they are moving backward. From the ground, we can say they are moving downward. Here also Newton's third law of motion. And then in swimming, if you know swim, if you know swimming, while you are swimming, what you people are doing? You people are just, just pushing the water in the backward direction. While you push the water with the backward in the backward direction with some force, with the same force, you will move forward. In that case also, the force applied by you on the water and the force applied by water upon your body are equal and opposite. This is also Newton's third law of motion. Example for Newton's third law of motion. Right? So, in this way, so many examples can be given. This is all about the Newton's third law of motion. And then the next session we will discuss about that the law of conservation of momentum we will see in the next class.